Hey guys, it's Quan, and man, I just wanted to take a minute just to check in, and we know we've been doing these videos every once in a while where I get to just share something that's been on my heart, and that's really what I want to do today, because Pastor Clamp gave this incredible word this past weekend about yield as we were ending our pray series, and just the beauty of you, and he talked about the different points and whatnot, and so every time that we hear those things, you know, we're faced with, okay, now I have this information, what am I going to do with it? But even better than that, I feel like God really gives us opportunities to walk in some new things as he presents things to us. And so guess what happened this week? <laughs> Intro into my personal life a little bit. So this past week, my wife and I were just praying over some things regarding our family and our kids and all that. Well, then something happened and um, I was presented with an opportunity to really be a blessing to my son but it was a challenge because of how the situation was playing out. And I'll just be transparent. I didn't respond well and things got messy. And like, I just had all this guilt and remorse. And I found myself in this place saying, God, I know that you want me to yield, but I don't know how. Like, have you ever been like that before? Sometimes I feel like, God, I know that you are calling me to do something different, something new. And a lot of times in that situation, I feel like God kind of gives me a game plan. I'm like, okay, I understand. I don't want to do that. That's not my natural way, but I'm willing to yield. But then there's other times where it's like, I don't even understand what yielding looks like. I don't even see a different way of how I'm supposed to go. Can you relate? Because for me, that's exactly where I was. And I just didn't even know what to do. So in those situations, what I do, what you might do is just what you've always done. I just kind of run the play that I've always run. Well, that play was all me. It was no yield in that. And it just didn't turn out good at all. And so I just sought the Lord. And as I was praying, he was just talking about being led by the Spirit. And that's exactly what Pastor Clint was talking about when he said in Romans 8, 14, those who are led by the Spirit of God, those are the sons of God. And I was like, God, I know that I'm a son, but I wasn't acting like it. I was really living out of my flesh and my heart wanted to yield. I didn't even know how to do it. And so the Lord started to speak to me. And just by his grace, he gave me another opportunity. And um, so I was talking with my, my wife and my kids again and just kind of sharing this, that the Lord was speaking this to me and giving me this revelation. Well, wouldn't you know, the Lord gave me another opportunity to yield. And I was like, I don't know what to do. But I just sought him. And he just told me one step, just one thing. And so I said, okay, God, I'm just going to do that one thing. And I did that one next step. And I just asked, Lord, just give me the word to say. And I spoke that word out. And you guys, this was so amazing because then what followed was in the midst of me just taking that one step, the Lord opened up this whole reality that had previously been hidden from me that I was not able to see because I had always done it a certain way. And so then in the midst of me actually walking into the circumstance that before had been so intimidating, now I was just maneuvering through it like a Jedi. It was amazing. And the spirit of the Lord was really leading me. He was even giving me words to say as I was saying, revealing truth to me as I was speaking it out, but it wasn't of me. Now, I know we've all experienced that before, but in an unknown situation where I didn't have any game plan coming in, man, that was one of the biggest yields I've ever had to face. And it just happened this week. And so um, I just want to encourage you today that maybe you're in a similar spot. Maybe you can remember sometimes you've been in that spot. First of all, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus because God has given us grace. And by his spirit, we get to walk into newness of life and God will lead us. And so if that's ever happened to you, man, I just repent it. You can just repent and then just say, Lord, lead me. Just give me one thing. Just one thing, one step, and just walk that step out and then just allow God to show you. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, those are the sons of God. Praying for you this week. Pray that your yield would produce fruit and freedom, as Pastor Clint said, and that it would increase. May you be blessed. Amen.